Right. <laughs> I should have been recording this this whole time. I'm looking. This guy's got an ambulance, and um, I'm I came. I'm on my uh, board taking my trash, and he has this very cool bike rack. And I asked him. He said he handmade this. So like, so you just put two hitches under here. Yeah, it's two two receivers. Are two receivers welded to the frame. Okay. So and I still have a center receiver for towing. Oh. Um, which I you can't really do with the bike rack on, but I tow other times. Right, right. Um, so I slide the rack into two receivers, and the tray is from an uh, an existing one, an existing dirt bike carrier. Oh, okay, so um, you had so you had the tray. Had the tray. The reason I did it primarily is that on a single post uh, receiver tray. The bike rocked a lot back and forth. I spend a lot of time off road, so it would be rocking back and forth. Gotcha. And this way, it's stiff mounted to the to the ambulance. Wow! And then what do? Oh, so these you just use these for tie downs. These these, these are these are tie downs. The reason they're angled is for um, so I get less contact with uh, when I'm off road and I'm in go through a ditch. The end of the rail will often contact the ground. In fact, this this side is bent from my excursion on the, on the Barstow Trail last week. Okay. So, um, wow. And he's actually really from Vermont, not doing that loophole that everybody does being a nomad. Wow, that's a great setup. Yeah, it's been an excellent solution, and it's rock solid. So. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Oh, and that's his rig. He's parked under the tree. He also said he has a... Would you have a DC to DC converter? Too. I have, um, you know, 400 watts of solar and a, a 40 amp DC to DC charger. So while I'm driving, I'm charging my house batteries. Okay. Um, and then if I stay parked for a long period of time, they're maintained by the solar. Right. Got you.